Hello there, friends and followers, and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use the MSFS add-ons linker to link all your add-ons that are in the community folder to a folder of your choice. This is specifically useful if you are running out of space on your current drive and wish to move your add-ons to a different folder. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to download the MSFS add-ons linker from the flightsim.to website. Once the download is complete, unzip the contents of the download to a folder of your choice. Once you have downloaded and extracted the contents to a folder of your choice, go ahead and run the executable MSFS add-on linkers.exe. At initial launch of the MSFS add-on linker, you will be presented with the options screen. Please do note that you will not be able to see the contents of the community folder until it has been successfully selected from the options menu here. Go ahead and click on the three dots and browse to your community folder. Then select the FS version you are running whether it's an MS Store, Steam, Fast Launch, and so on. I have selected the MS Store DVD Fast Launch. Next, we need to create a folder to host all the MSFS add-ons currently installed in your community folder. In my case, I'm going to head to my D drive, right-click, New Folder, and I'm going to call this folder MSFS Add-ons. The next step is to add this folder to the MSFS add-ons linker. To do this, we're going to click on Add. And now we're going to browse to the folder we just created on my D drive, MSFS add-ons. Now I'm going to click OK. As you can see now, the folder is here. And I'm going to click OK. Now we have created the association between the MSFS add-ons and the community folder. The next step is to move one of the currently installed add-ons in the community folder to the newly created MSFS add-ons folder. It is important to do this one at a time to test and make sure that everything is working OK. Let's head over to my community folder. From the community folder, I'm going to select Kuwait International Airport folder and I'm going to cut this file and move it to the MSFS add-ons created on my D drive. D drive, MSFS add-ons. Right click and paste. And now we have moved the Kuwait International Airport add-on from the community folder to the MSFS add-ons folder. As you can see now, MSFS add-ons linker is prompting us to refresh the community folder and the add-ons folder. We're going to go ahead and click refresh. Once you have refreshed both the community and add-ons folder, you will now see Kuwait International Airport appearing in the MSFS add-ons. It is currently disabled. To enable it, we're simply going to click on this check button. Now, the add-on Kuwait International Airport resides in the MSFS add-ons, but is referenced in the community folder. Let us take a look. As you can see now, the Kuwait International Airport shows as a shortcut, and what this means is that it is referenced in another location. If I double-click the file, it will take me straight to the community folder, exactly showing me the contents of the file. However, the actual contents are linked from another folder, which is the MSFS add-ons folder. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of this short video tutorial. I hope that you have found it useful. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.